uh, the current senator from Colleton, Senator Bright Matthews. We've come a long way in regard to making that particular idea a reality, Senator from Cherokee. Um, it used to be owned, the 1,700 acres at the mouth of the Savannah River in Jasper County used to be owned by Georgia. Um, and back when I was Governor Sanford's chief of staff, we got together with Sonny Perdue, the Georgia governor, and we agreed that that port would be developed jointly by the two states. That Savannah River was shared by both states um, and that it made sense for uh, both states to do it together. And so they did. And the two states, the two ports authorities got together and they bought the land. They own the land now. Uh, an agreement has been reached with the Corps of Engineers to release the spoil easement on that land, um, which will allow it to be developed into a, into a port. Three years ago, um, after years of study, a permit was actually filed with the Corps of Engineers to begin the permitting of that Jasper port. And it's been going well. They've been you know, answering the questions, holding the public hearings, uh, spending the money, and this General Assembly has always appropriated the money to pay for that permitting, and it's moving down the track. Um, this year, the South Carolina State Ports Authority is lying down on that track, Senator Cherokee, because the $5 million that they submitted to the House to have permitting costs covered for this coming year, they've decided this year they want that money to go to Charleston. They want that $5 million on top of the $300 million we already collected and put into escrow. That's not enough. They now want the $5 million that was supposed to go to continue what that man worked for when he was up here in this chamber. And it's wrong. And here's why they're doing it. They realize it's getting too close to a reality. They realize that the permitting process is moving forward. They realize that that port site is more advantageous than either Savannah or Charleston in that there are no height or depth restrictions in regard to this port. They realize that they have better access to I-95. They realize that there is dual rail, CSX and Norfolk Southern, that will provide service down to that port site. And so now they want to stop it. And they're going around my district in the Senator Bright Matthews district, and they're now saying, despite the fact that just a year ago, they were saying 2025 for this port, they're now saying, well, it might be 2035, or it might be even longer than that. We're not sure. So we want to stop permitting on this Jasper port. We want to slow things down, take the $5 million. This is just wrong. You talk about the corridor of shame, you talk about Colleton and Hampton and Jasper and Allendale and all those counties, I'm not going to yield right now. All those counties that have poor health care, high unemployment, terrible education, you're talking about something that's going to make their lives better, create jobs for them. And yet jobs in the Charleston area are more important than jobs in those counties. Now that particular report is not in my district, but I have worked on this for 15 years. It's becoming a reality. And naked parochial greed has now reared its head. That can't happen in this chamber. We can't undo all the progress that's been made. This General Assembly has spoken on two separate occasions and two separate legislative enactments that directs, tells, orders the State Ports Authority to expeditiously develop that port. And in abrogation of that legislative directive, they have taken these actions. Not only have they disregarded what this General Assembly said should be done, they have, in my judgment, put themselves in breach of a joint venture agreement between the two state ports authorities that say that each will appropriate the money necessary to pay for that permit. They've decided they don't want to do that any longer. That isn't their prerogative. They have now put, I think, South Carolina in jeopardy and in breach, and they have broken the good faith of this General Assembly. They have taken $5 million that's meant for Jasper Port permitting, and they want to stack that on top of the $300 million that was already collected. It's just simply wrong. Senator from Berkeley, what purpose you arrive? See if the senator would answer a question. Senator from Beaufort, you yield. Senator yields. Senator, um, a little while ago you said that the Port Authority has said that they do not want to obtain permits. You they said, want to stop the permitting you process. Said that the, you said that they said they want to stop the they permitting do. process. They do. Who, who is 
they in Jim Newsom and came in, into my district and then sat down with our delegation and said that they want to stop the permitting process because they don't have any need for it. They in Charleston don't have any need for it until 2035. They'd rather shoehorn more capacity into Charleston Center from Charleston. You're already talking about the failed traffic. You're talking about the failed growth in Mount Pleasant. Years ago, the people of Charleston County rose up against Daniel Island and the Global Gateway because of the quality of life deterioration that would result. And so they stopped that. Now they're doing through the back door what they were told not to do in the front door of the Global Gateway. And you're going to have more and more capacity jammed down your throat in Charleston. We've got land out there in Jasper County, like the surface of the moon, that we could build on, and we're ignoring that. Mr. And it's for Mr. greed. President. Senator from Berkeley. What the senator should? would continue Institutional answering the question. The, um, the, the Joint Project Office, did, did you know the JPO was meeting tomorrow? I do. And in fact, what I just distributed to this entire body, it's on your desk if you care to read it, front and back, is a letter that I sent to our members of that body, reminding them of their statutory obligations, reminding them of their contractual obligations, and reminding them of the promises they've repeatedly made to Jasper County in this letter. What does the JPO project, the Joint Project Office that actually is in charge of building the Jasper Ocean Terminal, what sort of timeline have they um, issued? Here's what they did, Senator from Berkeley. Georgia needed this capacity in 2028, okay? Jim Newsom went to Georgia and said, we don't need it until 2035, so we're not going to push this anymore. Georgia's now saying, well, heck, we can't wait. So you know what they're going to do now? They're going to build on Hutchinson Island to get the capacity they need on Hutchinson Island because they can't wait until 2035, 2040. So that is what our Ports Authority did Senator, to my Jasper question County. was about the Jasper Ocean Terminal, the JPO, okay. the group in charge of building the Jasper no Ocean the Terminal. No longer the JPO. You have to update yourself. Sen it's now Senator a joint venture agreement as a board of directors of the joint venture agreement. Senator from Beaufort, your time is up. Senator from Darlington. Extend the um, Senator from Beaufort's time. Ask consent to extend the time by five minutes. Is a rejection. When is it going to be enough for Berkeley, Dorchester, and Charleston? When is Jasper, Allendale, Collindale? Co the joint when venture. are they going to get their turn? The joint venture. When does the joint venture? What is the joint venture? The friends from Georgia and our and the evil people you say from South Carolina. Well, who? I'm describing who, their acts. Is, you can go ahead and describe what they are. Is, what date do they project together? What, what do the folks in Georgia say? What 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 did the JPO Georgia say? wanted it by 2028. Not what do they Char want. No, no, no. What, they said they're they going to need the they capacity. Want. I'm going to answer your question if you let me. My, my question they said is, that they needed the capacity by 2028, which is when Garden City would be built out. Charleston, Mr. Newsom, went to them and said, we're not going to need it until 2035 and maybe longer than that. So now the Georgia Port Authority is saying, we can't rely upon Jasper to handle our capacity, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to develop Hudson Island now. That is a direct result of what our Ports Authority did. That's wrong, Senator from Berkeley. I stood up here and supported $300 million for Charleston. I supported putting that money in escrow because it's important to have that port deepened. They have sabotaged Jasper Port at every turn, every turn. Senator, I certainly disagree that, I with, know that with you, you do. on that, that they've sabotaged I know it. that you do. And, um, and I hope to find out a little bit more um, about what the, the, the actual dates are, not only from the folks in South Carolina who are under a legislative charge to build a Jasper Ocean Terminal, as but, also, as possible. But, but also the other folks on the other side of the river. Because I want to hear the group that's in charge of building it, the, the folks from the South Carolina Port Authority and the folks from the Georgia Port Authority, that organization, they're meeting tomorrow. I want to hear from them over, over what's going on. And I want to hear of the from them. Because the amendment you proposed, that is now controlled by the South Carolina Ports Authority. They control it now. How do they control it? You push it? that. How do they control it? Well, first of all, because they have two of the three members we appoint. How many members are on the other side of the river? Three. You and see, our three side on is one controlled side by the three State Ports Authority because of what you push. Three on one side and three on the other. It seems to me that there are three people from Georgia and three people from South Carolina. Is that correct? How, how, how could three? Our delegation is controlled by the State Ports Authority because of an amendment you pushed. You did not want the governor to have the appointees. You wanted the State Ports Authority to have it. This is born your, the fruit that you wanted it to bear. It ain't going to be built. And I'm not going to live by the charade anymore. 
I'll be up here and I'll dig into this and I will give you details. And I will give you every you, single thing they've done one, to try to kill this project. You've not given me one detail about when the joint project office says it'll be complete. You've not said one thing about when the folks in Georgia say it will be what complete. What I'm telling you is what the General me, Assembly has told them to do twice. Told them to do twice. Perhaps you'll be able to share with us I at will. some point what the joint project office says will be the completion date. The, the What's folks your feeling in charge. about the five million dollars they picked out of Jasper's pocket? You like that? You probably do. All right, Senator from Jasper, were you just there for moral support? Or did you want to? Okay, Senator from Jasper is, is recognized. I didn't know if the senator from Florence had anything to say about this, since um, he's deeply ingrained and in, and he was with us. Um, with the Transportation Committee when, when Mr. Newsom gave the State of the Ports address. It was at that particular meeting um, in this year when I was startled and very surprised because when I took over as um, the replacement for the Senator from Jasper, one of the first things I knew about was his and dire need to make sure that the Jasper port become a reality. That's all he thought about and talked about, and he wanted that to be his true legacy. Um, every conversation I ever had with him, it was on some nuance regarding this. And yes, um, I'm glad for the Senator um, from Beaufort because he gives me a historical lesson of some of the things that have gone on um, with this, as well as in my talks with Senator um, from Berkeley and the senator from Florence. Um, I appreciate all of this, but listen, Senator Pinckney, this was something he really wanted, not for Jasper, he wanted it for the state of South Carolina. He wanted it for our entire economy because, yeah, taking down the flag in his honor after his tragic death, that meant something. But you really want to mean something? Give economic parity to his areas, the six counties that he represented. I don't know about all the meetings and all of that, but I do know one thing. We are establishing a history in this body. The history is just like with the Base Load Review Act. It's just like with VC Summer. It's just like with Santee Cooper. We start something and we don't finish it. We've permitted, we started doing all this permitting and Jasper has spent years and years and years of getting this um, port, um, the background for this port ready. And you mean to tell me now we're just going to put all this money, taxpayer dollars behind this project, and just because Charleston has expanded its capacity to stack these containers, we're going to give up on the lower part of the state? Is that really what you want? That's the same thing as you leaving all of these um, um, nuclear reactors in the ground and walking away from the project. You wouldn't do that if it was your money. I'm sorry. This is not about, this is not about Jasper. It's not even about Senator Pinckney. It's about the state of South Carolina, because guess what, folks? Until we do right, until we do right by the least of these, South Carolina is not going to get where it needs to be economically. Because I can support Greenville, I can support Dillon, I can support the Piedmont, I can support Charleston, but I know we're no better than the least of these. Do right by Charleston. Governor Haley said we were on track for 2023. No one has really given us a real reason why. We've kicked it out 13 years. And now we say we're going to permit five million, and just overnight I find out they're taking that five million and giving it to Charleston with a limited port expansion. Come on. We need to utilize our assets and stop throwing money away that's not ours. Senator Spartanburg, for what purpose you ask? See if the senator from Collington would yield for a question. Senator from Collington, yield. Do. She yields. Um, Senator, I appreciate your remarks today, and um, at the proper time, I'll be asking unanimous consent for your words and the words of the Senator from Buford to be placed in the journal. I'd like to do that now before my question to Mr. President. All right. Is there any objection to the unanimous consent request? Without objection, so ordered. Thank you, um, Mr. President. Senator from Collington, um, this $5 million, has this been taken away already, or was this something that's being proposed it was in the proposed. budget? 
It was proposed in, it was our understanding from the Ports Authority in the last, um, since our state of the port that everybody was on board and in agreement and it had already been vetted out. Um, it, and that was told to us, but we received an email and a call that no, we changed our mind, that should go to Charleston. Okay, and is this pending before the Finance Committee now in the budget? Yes, it is. Senator, do you, do you mind getting me all that information, please? I certainly will. Thank you. I certainly will, and I want you to know that when I found out this at that um, initial Ports Authority review, and I received such an influx of mail and emails from Jasper, Hampton, and Allendale,